Hey everybody out there. Um, today I'm going to just kind of give a rundown on some cool things you could do with Crea AI uh, to be able to do like character creations and then using that with uh, um, Daz Studio also, uh, which is just a good combination to, of uh, different programs to be able to use together. Uh, but I want to start this off by saying that if you haven't been in uh, been to Crea AI, or if you just started going into it, or even if you've been in there for a while, it is buggy right now. It is extremely buggy. Uh, they got a team of about six people uh, working on it, and it's just grown way too fast, and they're getting too much traffic. Uh, however, from what I could tell, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna show you today, isn't what's getting hit very hard right now. Um, it's the enhancer that, honestly, if you're not a paid subscriber. Uh, you're not going to be able to use the Enhancer right now. Uh, there's just too many people trying to use it. Uh, but we're not going to use the Enhancer. We're going to use the uh, real-time generation, which to me, to be honest with you, is better than the Enhancer anyways. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to kind of show you what I've been using it for uh, and why I think this is just a really, really, really cool um, tool to use. Um, as you see on the left is a Daz Studio render, plastic, as heck uh and uh just uh yeah it's just it's it's a death studio render um you can and obviously i i've got better models i could be used on this They're, they don't all look this bad uh but i kind of wanted to show you with a kind of a crappier looking one and what we can get out of it when we're um said and done um now, one thing, I, a couple of things I want to show you because um, they're kind of hidden. Uh, and if you don't know where they are, uh, you're going to get kind of confused. If you're doing this, you know, you got your AI strength up here and you're like, oh my gosh, I barely move in it and it's going up a bunch. Well, if you go here, you can spread it out and that makes it a little easier to get fine uh, control of it. Um, and yeah, we can go all the way up. I don't want to go too high. Uh, one thing is if you go a little bit too high on it, uh, and I'm kind of risking anyways doing this. Uh, uh, hey, what's up, Bum Studios? Uh, I, I I was kind of wondering like if I should do this uh, as a live stream. In fact, I actually just got done recording this as a video, and then I remembered how much I freaking hate uh, editing videos uh, for tutorials. So I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to do this. Um, I think I've got enough experience with this now that nothing nsfw will happen i think i've, I've got that there's a reason why i already have a prompt in here uh because i don't want to risk uh it producing something that shouldn't be shown on youtube um which with me saying that tells you if that's something you want to create you have the opportunities with Crea ai um it is uncensored um but yeah where, where the hell was i going with that uh yeah i i ramble a little bit but anyway so we we've, we've got our death studio uh, model on the left and we have our creation on the right now one thing i did to try to get a consistent uh character is i took a couple names that are you know obviously celebrity um type of names but it's i didn't want to create a celebrity i don't want to create just you know one celebrity on this um and i, I think that deep fake thing is pretty not cool or whatever. Uh, but I also think that if you want to create a character and maybe have them based a little bit or inspired by somebody else, uh, why not? I mean, it, I'm sure plenty of fictional like anime characters and stuff like that have been um, have used uh, inspiration from real um, real people. So um, I don't think there's anything too wrong with that. Uh, let me look at the comments here real quick. Yeah, I've, I've checked with uh, Leonardo AI just a little bit. Um, I'm just, I I just really like uh, um, Crea. Um, it's unedited and not necessarily saying that you need to be able to create um, stuff that's, uh, you know, not suitable for work. Uh, but I, I feel like with a lot of the censored stuff, like, like uh, chat GPT, um, I was trying to write this uh, story once and in it, I needed the main character to... Um, I, you know, I was struggling with a scene and they needed to help me write this scene and in it, the, the character had to, um, uh, back off of doing self-harm. Like he was going to do self-harm, but he backed off of it. But chat GPT wouldn't even help me build that scene, even though 
the entire purpose of that scene was to show that you know he found something to live for or something like that so like the censored stuff it really stifles creativity a little bit and i know leonardo ai especially with that part of it uh with the uh, real time is edited uh, or at least it was the last time i checked it out or it was censored or whatever hey what's up josh how you doing brother um but anyways, uh, getting back to this, so I have Angelina Beckinsale. Um, if you if you type in Angelina, in fact, I'll kind of I'm pretty sure if I just get rid of the Beckinsale on this and take the AI strength up. Uh, let's do in a portrait mode. Yeah, it's kind of getting a little bit. I'm not going to go too high on that because it might create something we don't want it to create. Um, but yeah, Angelina. There's there's not too many Angelinas probably in their data uh, data bank to uh, base off of that. So it's gonna probably draw in a little bit Angelina Jolie, and then same thing with Beck and Sale. So we're gonna get a little bit of a mi mi mismatch of uh, mix match of uh, Angelina Jolie and Kate Beck and Sale, which I think creates kind of a nice little face. Um, and if we kind of let's take this up to about a point two eight. Um, and in there we're getting on, on a cartoon um cgi now the, with the cgi thing it, that kind of gives kind of interesting results uh but if you notice um it definitely look gives that cgi animated 3d render look here but as soon as we enhance it it try, makes it a little bit more realistic whereas the cartoon one it's definitely cartoony here and when we enhance it it's i mean it's still making it a little bit more realistic but i feel like it maintains more of the stylized on that um concept concepts are kind of a nice in between um if you want realistic but you want to do something that's a little bit different like you want elf ears if you wanted to be an alien or something like that um use concept uh because if you try to use portrait uh, and even to some extent default uh, you're going to lose the elf ears. You're going to lose any kind of uh, blue skin or green skin or whatever you're trying to do. Um, uh, am I going to be on Battlefront 2 tonight? I might get on for just a little bit. We'll see. I get a long day of work tomorrow, so we shall see. It's very possible. I was sick the last couple of days, so um, I finally got my energy back. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. I, I might, might not. Um, go into the portrait. You know, and then the default default is kind of nice. Um, but right now I kind of want to focus on we're just going to create a character and we're going to um, uh, use the uh, cartoon one because I just like that stylized look. Um, but you have options. You have options to do different things. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of that. And I've got some more images. And let's do here let's go a little bit more of a let's bring this one in oh shoot i do have a, i have a great background on that one that's fine though um the reason why i have a great background on this uh and i'll kind of explain that really quick is that in enhance if you bring it straight to enhance on that and if it's a transparent background it's going to do some funky stuff with it so you want to when you render in DAS Studio, if you're gonna do it that way, you want to have a gray background or black or white background or something like that behind it, um, either when you render or bring it into GIMP or Photoshop or whatever and put that in there. So then we got kind of this. Now this is where things get a little bit weird because when you have a little bit of a farther, um, uh, more full body portrait, and it's not, you know, the face isn't as big in this in this 1024 by 1024 square. You are losing a little bit of that look that we had there before. Uh, the way I've solved this is that I'll do, like, if I want this pose, I'll do it right here. Um, and then I will do another and I will stretch this out. And I feel like that uh, is probably the same character that we had before. Um, and then I'll take this one and I will, um, uh, download both those, the full, but the full body, and then this one, and then I will use Photoshop to, um, mold them together and blend them together so that I got the face that I want. And then this, um, another thing we could do, um, if we wanted to do 
maybe just a couple different poses of her at the same time. Let's bring, bring her in here. There we go. Once again, we got the same character here. Um, and another thing that you can really do um, before you get too crazy into it and you're you're putting a lot of work into getting new or different uh, versions of the same character, use this variation button on it and make sure that each, each variation you're getting the same character. Um, because if you're not, then you're going to kind of um, have some wasted time. And I would say, yeah, we're, we're having a little bit of issue. This She's looking a much, much younger than the previous versions. So we're going to take this. We had a, what, 0.28. Let's bring it down to about a 0.2. And let's see here. Yeah, I think we're getting a little bit more consistent character on that. And this is really going to come down to what's really important to you. Is it having it be more striking, more stylized? If that's the case and you're worried a little bit less about consistency, you can crank this up a little bit. Uh, I've noticed about, you get about to about 0.38. Um, oh, shoot. What the heck? It just added a tattoo on her. 0.38, you still keep kind of the same faces for the most part. Um, but once you get up there, you see how it kind of added a added things to her shirt, made her shirt a little bit different. Um, it added a collar on to her. Uh, not, you know, once again, not exactly the same uh, character. Um, I mean, we could definitely have her with different outfits. That's fine. Um, but that's not really necessarily what we're going for at least not what I'm going for on that. So once again, we'll bring this down to about 0.2. Um, another thing with Cree AI, it is buggy. Um, it's got this wandering variation button. So every once in a while, you just have to reset it. And that's going to take it back to the default stylized. You have to stretch this back out. And the variation button is where it needs to be. Um, in Discord, we've asked him on this. This random prop button needs to go. Honestly, I don't know why the hell they even have it there, to be honest with you. But it definitely needs to go away from here. Because there have been times where I went to hit the variation button, accidentally hit that. And then luckily, I have a note or, um, a note uh, of the prompt so I could just pull them right back over. Um, makes it pretty easy on that. But still, it's kind of annoying that there's this random prompt button right there next to the variation. Uh, something that they definitely need to change. Um, okay, so I'm going to go through a couple more things, and then I think I'll end this. Uh, I'll probably show just a couple more poses, um, and then we'll kind of uh, download those and kind of see how they look. Um, but this AI strength thing, even on about a 0 0.01, when we enhance, you're still getting... You know, I kind of like this uh, for a couple reasons because A, you're going to get really consistent characters on this. And if you do a good job of making sure that your renders are are good, but they're just not quite there. They're just, they still have that plastic fake look to them. Um, a 0 0.01 could be enough to get you really good consistency with your characters and then also make it more possible to do things like animation with different uh, uh, frames. Um, only thing is, you know, if you notice for some reason they decided to add uh, earring to her. So I think this is one of those where you got to be a little picky. You have to kind of pick and choose which ones you're going to take um, and make sure that, you know, they're all consistent. And that is wandering again already. Let's see. Let's bring this back up. So yeah, 0 0.01. You can get some pretty good results on it. I've noticed that you can go as low as 0 0.05 and still get extremely good uh, results without um, while keeping the consistency. And this once again depends on you know what your goals are with this is it the consistency is it the more striking stunning look um 
you have to decide with your project what you really want to get out of it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's take and let's we'll download this real quick. All right. Now, if you notice, you know this is that's actually not bad considering it's a 1024 by 1024, which is what the enhanced comes out to. That isn't too bad. Uh, if we go a little bit higher, uh, let's uh, let's kick this up. Oh, I had to see. Let's uh, let's go back to cartoon. Download. Yep, good. Except for the fact that I added an earring there. In any of this AI stuff, you're gonna have to do a little post work. You're gonna have to do many generations to get exactly what you want. Uh, but to me, the experimenting part of it is the fun part of it, anyways. Um, and then within this, I've got a, I got smile on there. So another cool thing is we could take these same exact poses, and we can get a couple different facial expressions out of. So we could just have the neutral pose. Uh, we could do like smiling, just like that. Let's see, we could probably do something like a open mouth, which is going to give us just a little bit more of a smile. Um, let's try something weird like this. Um, ah, I know. I don't want to risk like some like prompts right now that I've never tried on this because who knows what Korea will do as far as uh, making something that'll get me in trouble on YouTube. Um, let's try it. Uh, I've noticed that the um, smiling is the one that works the best. Browning. Browning works okay. Um, she looks a little bit more upset, I'd say, than what she does in the neutral but not like you if if you noticed the uh smiling i mean that's a legit smile the frown's kind of like yeah yeah but still if you're looking for different expressions for your characters that can kind of work for that um so yeah let's uh let's do one more let's do a let's see what we got here Because in this one, I actually, the, the image actually has her smiling. So let's get in there really nice and close. And without even hitting smiling, you can see that she's got a slight smile on her face, not anything too big. Uh, and if we just put it smiling, she's happy to see us, I'd say. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to stop it there. I just want to kind of go through this. This is some of the stuff that we're kind of working on or I'm working on. Um, I think this tool is amazing. Um, I think the guys at uh, Korea AI, uh, they're working their butts off. Uh, one thing I'll say, um, if you go in there right now, um, expect that there is going to be some bugginess. Expect that you're going to be doing a lot of experimenting uh, to get it down to what you want to use it for. Um, and don't harass the staff. I, I see a lot of people in the Discord sh uh, server that are just making some pretty mean comments to them. Um, the, this is a really up and you know up and coming company that that I have. I'm cautiously optimistic is going to be able to pull through and do some pretty amazing things uh, in the future. Um, but man, there's some people that are pretty unkind to them. Don't be those types of people. But anyways, uh, that's all I got for today. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon.